Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. Today our lesson is about Primavera architecture and user interface. The architecture of Primavera is very much different from other project management software. When other software save its data in a single file, Primavera saves in a database. That may be SQL database or Oracle database. Did you install Primavera in your PC? If yes, you might have noticed this icon in your desktop. This is Oracle database where all your data is stored. So don't try to open unless you know database management. Here you can see Primavera application is installed along with the database. These two things needs to work concurrently. Now let's open Primavera. Did you see PMBD? Acronym of Project Management Database. Don't try to change it because it may give you error while opening Primavera. So let's close it. Now give password and press OK. Now you can see the message connecting to database. If the connection is successful, program will open. Otherwise, it will give you warning saying unable to connect database. So this is how Primavera is working. Application and database need to work simultaneously. After successful connection, it goes to this window. Now let's understand the interface. This area is called as tables. It will list all the projects when project is active and it will list all the activities when activities is active. And it will list all the resources when resource is active and so on. The right side area is called as Gen chart along with a time scale. Again chart, it's a graphical bar representation of your activities, projects and WBS along with this time period. The bottom panel is called as detail window where you can call project detail window when project is active or activity detail window when activity is active and so on. Detail window comes with tabs. If these tabs are not displaying in your PC, you can right click on the round spot and customize it. At top left you can see menu bar and its bottom you can see toolbar that contains important tools. And in the left side we got three sections of toolbars that called as standard toolbar, enterprise toolbar and project toolbar. You can customize it by right click over the round spot. Again in the right side we got editing toolbar, assigning toolbar and moving toolbar. So that's major technical terms that you must know before we start Primavera. So hope you understand and we will see you on the next video. Please subscribe and keep learning with Tudomash. Thank you.